There are three essential tests that stand as gateways to a profound journey of self-discovery and growth. In this exploration, we'll navigate the transformative terrain of these spiritual tests. The first test is the test of letting go. It consists on letting go of attachments. It is a profound spiritual test that echoes across various philosophies and spiritual traditions. Picture our spiritual journey as a magnificent tree, each branch bearing the weight of our attachments, connections to people, possessions, and circumstances. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, plays the role of a skilled gardener, occasionally shaking the tree to encourage the shedding of certain leaves, making space for new growth. In Buddhist philosophy, letting go is intricately tied to the concept of detachment. It's not a call to sever emotional ties but an invitation to understand the impermanence of our attachments. Much like the changing seasons, our connections undergo transformations. By acknowledging this fluidity, we step into a realm of freedom where love and connection transcend temporary states. Stoicism, too, offers valuable insights into the art of letting go. This ancient philosophy teaches emotional resilience in the face of life's inevitable changes. The Stoics believed in focusing on what is within our control, recognizing that attachments to external factors are beyond our influence. Through this lens, letting go becomes a powerful act of reclaiming agency over our emotional well-being. The journey of letting go is not about dismissing love or the significance of our connections. It's a recognition that each attachment serves a purpose in a specific chapter of our lives. Imagine these attachments as leaves that, when released, create space for new ones to grow. In the process of letting go, we're not losing a part of ourselves. Rather, we're making room for the evolution of our spirit. The ultimate quest, as we navigate this test, transcends individual attachments. We're on a quest for wisdom that comes from understanding the ebb and flow of life, peace that arises from accepting change, and oneness with the universe that recognizes the interconnected nature of all things. Success in the test of letting go is a journey toward resilience, self-discovery, and completeness. The individual who masters the art of letting go becomes a beacon, a living testament to the incredible potential of the human spirit. They embody the wisdom that arises from embracing change, the peace that comes from releasing the need for control, and the oneness with the universe that stems from recognizing the interconnected dance of life. As we navigate this spiritual landscape, let the test of letting go be a transformative force, shaping us into beings capable of embracing the ever-changing tapestry of existence. The second test is the test of patience. In the hustle and bustle of our modern world, this test emerges as a poignant challenge. We live in an era where instant gratification is not just encouraged but often expected. Amid this cultural backdrop, the true essence of patience beckons us, a virtue that extends far beyond mere waiting. Patience is not a passive state of endurance but an active practice of maintaining calm and peace amid the chaos of contemporary life. Picture this test as a tranquil moment within the fast-paced narrative of our daily existence. In the vast landscape of our spiritual journey, patience becomes a fertile ground where personal growth takes root and flourishes. Consider the analogy of a farmer diligently tending to the soil, understanding that the seed requires time to sprout and blossom into its full potential. Patience, in this context, is not just waiting for a predetermined outcome but actively participating in the nurturing process. It involves cultivating an environment conducive to growth, providing the essential elements required for the seeds of our aspirations to flourish. Likewise, imagine an artist working on a masterpiece. Each stroke, while contributing to the overall beauty of the creation, requires a deliberate and patient approach. The artist understands that rushing through the process might compromise the final result. Patience, in this sense, becomes an integral part of the creative journey, where the waiting period is not a pause but a deliberate, purposeful act. 
Success in the test of patience necessitates a profound shift in perspective. Waiting is not a passive interlude. It is an active phase of preparation. It's an investment in wisdom and resilience. In the stillness of waiting, we find the strength to weather life's storms and emerge stronger on the other side. Consider the farmer again, patiently awaiting the harvest season. The waiting period is not idleness but an opportunity for the farmer to tend to other aspects of the farm, ensuring a bountiful yield. Similarly, the artist adds strokes to the canvas while awaiting the masterpiece's completion, recognizing that every moment contributes to the final, intricate tapestry. In the grand tapestry of our spiritual journey, the test of patience invites us to view waiting as a purposeful, intentional act. It's not wasted time but a period of preparation for the fruits of personal growth. The individual who embraces patience discovers that, in the stillness of waiting, lies the foundation for resilience and the unwavering capacity to navigate life's storms with grace. The third test is the test of faith. It emerges as a cornerstone, a crucible in which the essence of our beliefs and convictions is forged. Metaphors abound, likening life to a ship navigating both calm seas and storms, transformation to a potter shaping clay, or coal metamorphosing into a diamond. Yet, at its core, the test of faith is a profound exploration of trust and belief that extends beyond religious doctrines. Imagine life as a ship sailing through the vast expanse of the sea. Calm seas represent moments of tranquility and ease while storms symbolize the inevitable challenges and tribulations that define our human experience. In this analogy, faith becomes the compass that provides stability during life's storms, offering a sense of direction and purpose amid the tumultuous waves. Similarly, envision the transformative process as a potter shaping clay into a work of art. The seemingly chaotic act of molding and sculpting gives rise to beauty and purpose. Faith, in this context, is the unwavering belief that the hands shaping our destinies are guided by wisdom and intention, even when we cannot discern the intricacies of the process. Consider the journey of coal turning into a diamond, a journey that involves immense pressure and heat. Faith, then, becomes the belief in the transformative power of challenges. It's the recognition that, just as a diamond emerges from the crucible of adversity, our true brilliance is revealed through the trials and tribulations we face. Faith is not confined to religious perspectives. It transcends the boundaries of dogma. It's the enduring belief in the unseen, persisting through the darkest nights when life's path seems obscured. Challenges that test our faith are not obstacles but initiations into a higher order of being, an invitation to delve deeper into the reservoirs of our inner strength. The metaphors employed underscore the dynamic nature of faith. It's not a static adherence to predetermined beliefs but an evolving, transformative force. In the ship of life, faith is the constant that enables us to navigate both the calm and tumultuous waters. In the hands of the potter, faith is the understanding that our experiences, no matter how challenging, contribute to the masterpiece of our lives. And in the crucible of transformation, faith is the belief that, even in the face of pressure and heat, we are becoming something extraordinary. As we encounter challenges that test our faith, remember that hardships are not designed to break us but to shape us into beings capable of enduring and soaring to greater heights. Hold on to faith as a lifeline during turbulent times, for it is during these storms that the tools of resilience are forged. The test of faith is not just a trial, it is an invitation to believe in the unseen, to trust in the journey, and to recognize that every challenge is a stepping stone toward our higher selves. May the compass of faith guide you through life's storms, may the hands of transformation shape you into a masterpiece, and may the crucible of challenges reveal the brilliance of your spirit. In the Tapestry of Spirituality let the test of faith be an exploration that leads you to a profound understanding of your inner strength and the limitless possibilities that unfold 
when you dare to believe. As we conclude this profound exploration of the spiritual tests that shape our journey, let's take a moment to reflect on the essence of what we've uncovered. In the symphony of these three tests, letting go, patience, and faith, we unearth the keys to wisdom, peace, and oneness with the universe. We become the architects of our own spiritual destinies, navigating the vast forest of existence with grace and purpose. As you embark on the continued journey of self-discovery, remember that letting go is the canvas upon which new stories are painted, patience is the soil from which resilience blooms, and faith is the compass guiding us through life's uncharted waters. May the lessons learned in this exploration be a source of inspiration, empowerment, and profound growth. The tests we face are not roadblocks but stepping stones toward the higher selves we aspire to become.